TV land. I'm sorry. We'll get back to this a little bit later on. Hi there. I'm Mary Ann Goulart, and I'm your host for Out and About, the Fall River show that deals with arts, cultures, what's happening in Fall River. And boy, how many of you out there are thrilled that it's March. I know. I think everybody's been so eager this year to see the birds coming back and the flowers coming up from the ground and all those beautiful, beautiful smells of spring. Uh, one of my favorite songs is It Might As Well Be Spring. I just love that. It might as well be spring. I do sing a lot. You can ask my friends. But uh, we made it through another winter. Yes. So on with, on with hope and beauty and everybody hanging out at Lifeguard Stand number eight at Horse Neck this summer. <laughs> Great. But let's get to today the focus of this episode is social media. And actually, this edition is called In and Out and About, because you can be in your house and still be out and about, in a way. Now, I remember uh, social media when I was in my teens back in the 60s. We used to, on Friday nights or Saturday nights, call WALE or WSAR to make dedications. We would dedicate songs to our, our boyfriends, our girlfriends, our loved ones. And there was some sort of snafu that everybody could hear everyone else. So what would happen would be tons of people would be yelling into the phone, what's your number, what's your number, what's your number? It would be so difficult, really, to copy down anyone's number, but we kept making that attempt. And so that was a little attempt at social media, I think. And also, back in that day, the party lines. We had phones that were actually uh, shared with somebody else, a family we didn't know, a neighbor, someone down the street. And every now and then, if you picked up the phone, you could pop into someone's conversation. The polite thing to do, of course, was to just hang up. But I do confess, right here and now, that sometimes I did take a little listen before I quietly hung up. So that was our social media of the day. Besides face-to-face, -face, of course, uh, being with all my friends at Maplewood Park, that was social media in a way. But it was interactive and up close and personal. But today, let's be here now, as I always like to say. I have a wonderful show planned for you today, and it is about a Facebook group entitled Grew Up in Fall River. G-U-I-F-R. And today I have some of the administrators of that group, and I have a longtime member. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pay attention. Pay attention, boys and girls. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. So, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so for, that's only a joke, everyone. So first of all, I would like to introduce the guest right here. This is Brian Nato. He is one of the earliest uh, administrators of the group and friends of the founder, Jeff Medeiros, who couldn't be here with us today. So welcome, Brian. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. And in the middle is our concierge, our social secretary, another administrator of the group. This is Joe Furtado, affectionately known as Joey Joe. Thank Joe, you. nice to meet you. Well, we've met before, but <laughs> for the TV audience. And the lovely Mary Ann, uh, flanking out the group over there. This is Mary Ann Souza. She's been a longtime member. She's a cheerleader of the group, and we're glad to have you here today, Mary Ann. So, so welcome much. to all of you. Thank and you. we've got to put down our devices for a little while because we're going to have a real chit chat talk. So, this will be a, a wonderful time. Oops, we have a little mic problem here. It went down. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry about that. So, Brian, yes. would you please give me a brief history of how the group began? Whose idea was it? Um, when did it originate, really? How many members are there now? And where are all those members? Well, the group started back uh, around 2008, 2009 with uh, Jeff Medeiros. Um, Facebook uh, was around, but it just started to, to pick up a little <laughs> bit more. And he wanted to just create a group so that uh, he could communicate with his friends who were out of, out of the city. Mm -hmm. So he, he uh, started the group, uh, named it Grew Up in Fall River, and immediately he sent it out to his friends. He probably got about 100 members. Um, it was going all right, back and forth. Um, I had known Jeff previously, um, known him for a long time. He had spoken to me about the group. I had signed on, and he had put me as an administrator. So I, I went out to my friends, reached out to them. And then, right around when Jerry Remy's uh, was starting to get into the city, um, he posed a question on there, um, something to the effect of, you know, would you like Jerry Remy's uh, to be in the city as a restaurant? 
And that, I think, just sparked the, the website. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of comments on that. More people started uh, joining up, chiming in on that. And then we started to see uh, the pictures and the nostalgic of Fall River, uh, China Royal, old pictures. Um, and that's when it really just shot up. Um, I had signed on. There was about 500 members. Within a few months, we had doubled that, tripled that. Um, and we hovered around eight or nine, and I think at this point, Joe, I think we're up to about over 10,000 members. Mm -hmm. um, obviously not all 10 are active, but they're still there, they're still hanging on, and they get a lot of uh, information daily on the uh, Facebook site. Now, do you think that um, many of those people are from Fall River, or have they relocated How about other countries? Do you know about that? I would, I would probably say it's um, maybe about half and half. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of members early on uh, that, that were throughout the whole country, um, reminisced. Uh, they met um, individuals, they asked for individuals, uh, do you still know this person, does that person still live on North Main Street, back and forth, so it was a good means of communicating um, and getting information to people who were out in Hawaii, California, uh, Texas. Uh, we even had people that came up. Uh, we, we started some uh, gatherings uh, that Joe was gonna uh, talk about in a little bit. And we actually had people that came in from other parts of the country just to come to these gatherings. Um, we had a big one at Heritage State Park mm -hmm. back in 2012. And, and, um, and then pretty much every month there on, we've had a few more uh, different places and different people show up. So it's pretty good. That's just wonderful. I know that there's a member who's from Malaysia, actually. And just to see the culture of Malaysia from the things that that gentleman posts is so fascinating to think that he's gone from Fall River culture to the culture in Malaysia. Yes. Absolutely fascinating. It, it really brings people together from all over the world. Yes, and that's, that's what it's about, um, reminiscing about your childhood, mm -hmm. how you grew up in Fall River, what you remember, um, and, and that's, that's the basis of the website. Excellent. What a good idea to do that. I know other communities have done it as well, but I would think that because Fall River has such a huge divergence of population, you know, so many cultures together that it would be even a more exciting page than uh, a grew up in maybe a small town where, you know, most of the folks have the same sorts of backgrounds. Yeah. I, I may be biased, but obviously, yes, grew up in Fort River is, is, uh, is, is the page. the best. <laughs> oh, good. That's wonderful. Joe, um, you've recently been added as an administrator. Um, ready or not, you were. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, uh, do you have any responsibilities as administrator? Do you do any troubleshooting? Uh, tell us about what you do as administrator of GUIFR. Um, <clears throat> as administrator, it's, it's our responsibility you know, to add people as they, um, it, it needs approval before you can add somebody. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's one of the biggest responsibilities is adding people to the group. Um, also deleting anything that seems to be um, unsavory, I guess you could, you could say, sure. uh, that isn't in a positive light. Um, that's one of the biggest responsibilities. I'm sure that would be a big one because imagine putting 10,500 people in a room. Do you think they'd all be Democrats, all be Republicans, all be nice people, all be Catholics, Protestants, whatever? So your job really is to try to balance all of those opinions and all of those personalities. And I have to say, uh, being a member of the group also, I know your job is not easy because sometimes things can get a little out of hand and a little testy pe when people don't agree. You know, it's. Uh, it's different when you're face to face with someone and you're having a discussion or a discourse where you probably wouldn't say the same things you might say if you were sitting behind a keyboard and you have that defense that no one's looking right at you. So I don't envy you to your job, really. I think that it's quite a responsibility being an administrator of such a large and public group. Now, Marianne, you're a regular <coughs> contributor to this group. Yes. Uh, what are your impressions? You've been a member since how long? Right at the beginning? Or? Right from the beginning, yeah. yes. Um, I love the group. I love Fall River, and I think it's very positive for the city, bringing people together in a great way. We get to know not only on a personal level, but business-wise. You know, it, it gives you contacts. It's just wonderful to bring everyone together and, and make it positive for once, instead of it always being drama or negative. Yeah, true. I know, like, uh, on any given day, you can go on 
that page and find pictures of old Fall River. You can find yes. someone looking for a long lost friend or relative. You can find someone asking for the best Portuguese steak yep. in the city. You can find someone looking for advice of where should I go for karaoke tonight. So it's such a diverse page, really. I, I just am amazed sometimes when I go on there and take a look at what is on that page. Oh, I can see maybe that um, we're going to have some examples of that too, so that's a good thing. Yeah, and that's, that's what it's about. It's about, you know, we're all busy in our lives. You go out, you don't really know your neighbors mm -hmm. uh, this, this day and age. Uh, you're always busy, but everybody goes on the computer yep. and everybody has the, the common meeting place um, and you get to meet people. Sure. And then when we have the, the, meet, um, the gatherings for breakfast or um, the most recent one for the Valentine's Day, you know, people are coming together and meeting people. Mm -hmm. um, when, I, when we first started out, Jeff and I, we came up with the idea of making t-shirts and getting the name out there. Uh, and the money we received, we were going to donate to St. Vincent's Home and the t-shirts there. And the good thing that I found about doing that was I was making home visits to people mm -hmm. and giving them their t-shirts. And now I, I was able to put uh, a face to a name. So I would see the names you know, popping up when they make comments. But then I could actually meet them and, and you know, have a few minute conversation with them while giving them the t-shirt that I thought that was good. Yeah, as a real person. Example, this is not your t-shirt, but it is an example of what is available for members if yes. they would want to purchase yeah. one of these. And also there are buttons and patches and, and hats. hats. I don't yeah. have a hat. There are bumper stickers. So people obviously uh, want to be known if they're driving around the city and you see someone with a bumper sticker, you might toot the horn and say, oh, they're a member of the group, which is yeah. really kind of a neat thing. Um, it's, it's wonderful, really. Yeah, and it's all about city pride. It's community, I think. It is community. You know, it really is. And also, something you mentioned, um, some people can't get out. You know, I, you know, the show is called Out and About, but some people can't. So this is a way that they can maybe enjoy someone else's life or someone else's experience going to a nice restaurant and or going out to a dance or whatever, you know. And um, we hope that that's something that can be helpful and enjoyable to folks, especially those who don't get out as much yes. or, would, or would like to do those things. It'd be enjoyable. You know, and I, w I would think besides all the connections and all the history and everything, that that too is a big component of what this group is, just making that connection between people. Even though it's social media, even though you're sitting here doing this, you know, there's somebody on the other end of doing this. Yeah, so. um, just to, to follow up on that, there was two points, uh, two stories actually. One lady emailed me and uh, she was somewhere down south uh, indicated that she was suffering from a debilitating disease and she got on the site and um, it brought her a new new fresh outlook on life oh, going through that good. and then there was another uh, woman who actually there was an article written about her um, she was kinda she, she was uh, elderly in the house just you know not really getting out but she started on the site again got a fresh outlook on life and she actually started coming out and meeting uh, the individual members and she was just kind of like overwhelmed with the support that she received and, and just the friendships that she made. It's so a it's beautiful good. thing. And real friendships have been made. Yes. yes. Real friendships, yeah. not just the friendships here. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit now. Uh, Joe, as our social secretary, and Marianne as our member, what kinds of uh, things have been going on? What kind of activities has the group been involved in? Uh, well, most recently with um, Valentine's Day, we did a sock drive for a homeless shelter. We try to incorporate something charitable <laughs> at each event. Um, you know, they're called monthly dine-outs, so they happen every single month. And it, the announcement is made right on the page. It's open to anybody who wants to participate. Uh, if there is something charitable that somebody would like to um, nominate, they, they're more than welcome to. It's open to anybody. Um, we also did uh, a couple of times what's called a cash mob. Uh, it's similar to a flash mob where everybody shows up, does a dance, does whatever. But that's it's my a idea. I want us to do a dance. <laughs> I keep thinking about that. Well, I have the rhythm flash of a mob. rock, so that's not that's a good okay. idea. I'll take over. Go ahead. Um, but we we put a spin on it and called it a cash mob. Sure. So we just to, uh, pick a business that it's a local mom and pop. It's not in. Um, not a national chain, but a local mom and pop retail store that could use our business yeah. and our boost for that day. So, you know, sometimes anywhere from 20 to 55 people could show up for one of those, which is great. 
um, but I do give advance notice to the retailer so that way they could be prepared and staffed properly. Um, so if anybody ever wants to nominate somewhere or is, is looking to get a good boost in business, they can reach out to the group. We're always looking to plug different things locally. I went on the walking one downtown. I don't know if that was one of the first ones you had, where we went to every store and then stopped yes, off that for was a drink, one of the first stopped ones, off for a little refreshment on the way, because yep. there were such good restaurants, of course, right on Main, South Main Street. So that was a very fun one when we were able to take that walk, actually. That mm -hmm. was a really good time. What other kinds of things do you get together for, um, besides the dine-outs, dine breakfast? We've done a through. picnic down at Heritage Park, which was a lot of fun. And we've done breakfasts. We've You've done, done two picnics, correct? We, yes. Two Each folks. year we've done a yeah. picnic at this so point. Far. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since it started, and I know there's a there's some grand pictures of the whole group at Heritage Park. Yeah. So you have a, yeah. a yearly photo shoot. That's a it's very actually a video nice. on YouTube, I think. Is, uh, is there with okay. a song? Mm -hmm. Oh really? I haven't even seen that. Yeah. I'd love to see, see that. Nice. So that's history in the making. Yeah. yeah. So you're making new history when you think about it, really. Um, now, all of you, what has surprised you the most? It probably would be a question for the early people. Um, what surprised you the most about the evolution of this group? How has it gone in a direction that you may not have maybe expected it to go? I, I think with Jeff and I, uh, especially Jeff, just the amount of people that took the time to sign on and continue to sign on and make comments mm -hmm. and uh, contribute to the page, it, it's, I just think it's great for the city um, that it's just grown, it's blossomed. How you, you can think of, of Jeff creating something so small, started with 50 or 100 people, and within a few years has blossomed to over 10,000 people. You, I never th that's, you didn't expect that? No, I think really? that's, a, that's a tribute to him. Uh, I think it's very good forethought on, on his part to create something. I don't think um, he really thought this would blossom like this. Mm. I thought it was you know, maybe a few hundred people of sure. his friends, but now it is just all over the country. Um, there's someone in Pennsylvania that has a, a GUIFR a license plate. So <laughs> it's, it, 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 we're everywhere. If, if you'll look, you're going to see I uh, grew up in Fall River. It's, it's just and a really good, good selection of administrators. I yes. have to say, you have to give Jeff the good credit to, uh, and the good, for the, his good sense in yeah. picking some decent administrators who know their stuff. I, I know that when we had um, one of our dine outs a few months back at uh, the Tap House Grill, there were some people who actually are in the group who were who live in Las Vegas who came and joined mm -hmm. us that time too. So sometimes it's it happens just by serendipity that yep. people are visiting and they're able to attend the dine outs. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that's always neat when that happens. And I love seeing a, just what you said. Like you, you see one picture of a person on Facebook and y you don't really see the live person moving. And exactly. it, it's a nice experience to see <laughs> to see the real person. Yeah, it's so it. nice to go from just on Facebook yeah, to reality. Yeah, because you just have a stop <laughs> yeah. of whatever the picture is. Probably your best picture, too, because people like to put their best <laughs> pictures, too. <laughs> and um, I know that, um, Joe, do you have anything about how you're surprised of how it's evolved or it's just where it's gone? And it just seems so amazing how much it's grown. and. Uh, what happened to me personally um, last year, I was driving through Florida trying to get to the airport <laughs> and a tractor trailer had overturned. Oh. And one of our members actually lived in that area. So I reached out to him and he was able to navigate me exactly which way I needed Isn't to go to something? get around that accident Who and made think? my flight on time. Who would think? So it, there's just people everywhere. It's just, it's just an amazing thing and you know, it's just, a lot of people say it's only Facebook. Well. It is only Facebook, but to some it can be more. It's what you make of it. Of course, Marianne, any? I agree. I, it, some people say it's only Facebook, but you can turn it into so much more. You really can. And these guys have done such a great job. I, I do like the aspect of people reaching out for help in some way, too, because it, is, it does turn out to be very helpful. Sometimes, honestly, you find out about thing, events that have occurred here first on the grew up in Fall River True. page than you, yeah. than you do in the news because it's local you know when things happen like when the tractor trailer truck uh, last month or in January yes. overturned there was an alert already to people you know avoid this area don't go this way you know traffic is is jammed so it, it's it's amazing you know and I'll I'll look over at my husband and I say up oh, don't go by this way he said well where'd you hear that yeah. I said, grew up in Fall River yeah. you know so it's like a wonderful tool in that way. To and just it can be as simple as an older person needing someone to shovel or yes. change a tire yeah. and they can put it on that group and someone yeah. will show up to help. Yeah. So it's wonderful. Yes, I it's, think it's so like, too. It's like Craigslist, Angie's List and 
the Herald News all rolled Everything into one all instantly. Together. Yeah. Yeah. And you know one thing that I've learned personally about being in a group with so many people is that everybody's not the same. Everybody doesn't That's think true. like me. You know, I may be horrified by the way that some people think, but on the other hand, it also makes me examine how I think and realize that, okay, maybe, you know, there, of course there is another way to look at something, but maybe they're right a little bit. It's not just me with my stuck liberal attitude, you know, and, and I have to say that sometimes I, my blood boils too when I see some things politically, yeah. especially, you know, how can they say that, you know, but I draw back because I don't like to respond right away with my, I'm always the type of person who will respond first and say everything that I want to say and then, you know, it'll be okay, but you can't do that. Mm. You can't do that on Facebook because once you've said it, there it is and somebody else's feelings may be heard about it. So yeah. that's a realization that's come to me that, you know, Everybody doesn't think the same. <laughs> and that's, and that's, you know, we're not Gestapos out there. Yeah. We, we want people's opinions out there. But where we come into play is if it gets a little too personal. Sure. Uh, if people yeah. express, you know, some swear words or, or something like that, then that's, that's where yeah. we step in. But obviously, people have different opinions, and that's good for the group because it gets more comments going and, and actually uh, probably gives us more um, advertisement. Oh, this is what someone said on Facebook. Oh, what group is that? Group in four of us go on there and stuff like that. So that's true. Yeah, yeah. to get the dialogue going. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's yeah. Uh, you know we're not you know Gestapo's and stopping everything, but we're there just to keep the peace here and there. Well, it needs to be done sometimes. Honestly, yes, you know. it does. <laughs> yes, it Every, does. Everything needs parameters in life. As being yes. a classroom teacher for thirty-five years, there has to be somebody who's making the rules. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yes. and and some you know you have to really encourage people to follow those rules. It's not always easy to do that. Um, now, for better or worse, but just having listened to all of you, I know it's more better than worse. How do you think it's made the mark on our community, grew up in Fall River? What are some of the organizations, let's th think of, that uh, it's benefited? Like the Sox are going to a homeless shelter, you said? To the Overflow? The, the homeless Overflow, overflow shelter. shelter. Okay. Um, we made a cash donation to firefighter uh, I'm sorry, tongue twister, the firefighters' wives sure. group. Sure, during some yes. of the uh, recent fires yep. that happened yep. last year. We had a lot of fires then. And such. I, it's just, and I know that uh, some people, uh, myself included, are involved in uh, charitable endeavors, and I will post on things about Marie's Place. You know, when people are on there looking for a helping hand or what can I do, yeah. you know, I, I will suggest something. And there's another group, Open Heart, which will suggest, well, you can come to us, you can come to us, you know. So it's a place that lends out a hand, too, to others. You know, it's just, I think, an amazing thing, really. Uh, it, and as you were saying, it's only Facebook, it's only Facebook, but it is the way of the present. It is the, the way of the future, and it's, for better or worse, the way people communicate. Now, our lovely TV studio and station here recently uh, got onto Facebook and there was a contest, sort of, uh, for the 500th like of our page. I see. The Fall River Community Media TV uh, page. And how would it ever happen that the 500th like to that page would be sitting right here on this panel today? Who would ever think? And the winner... <laughs> And here he is, the winner of the 500th like of Facebook, ding, 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 is Joe Furtado. And I have some awards for Joe Furtado for being our Facebook page's 500th like. I have a beautiful mug. Yay. Thank you. I have some lovely notebooks, red and black, derpy colors, as you notice. Yep. Very nice. Nice. Great. Thank you. A lovely cap, so you can uh, be identified when you're not wearing your <laughs> grew up in Fall River hat. You know that. Thanks. And also a shirt, a Fall River Media T-shirt. So nice. I'm hoping that we can get this page up to a thousand members, and perhaps there will be a lovely set of gifts for the thousandth member as well. So that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And we thank you for being our 500th. Great. Member, thank you. So now I'm trying to think, what would be the future of this group? How many people do you think would even make this whole group? How, do, you, do you think it's going to double in size again? Do you think it's kind of reached its max? I'm not sure. 
No, I think, I don't think it's reached its max. I think many more people are interested, and the more we do, the more interest yeah. in they the group. It's, it's amazing. Imagine if all 10,500 people went out to vote with the same <laughs> like-minded. Maybe on the casino issue, yes. if we get a group. Well, any issue for that. <laughs> but of course, everybody disagrees on that. So, you know, it's not something that we can say we're going to get 10,000 people who are agreeing to the casino or not. So, it's... Uh, just <laughs> just the way it's going to evolve, I suppose, from here to there. So any last thoughts do you have on um, anything you'd like to say to encourage anyone to join the group? Um, watching this at home, just sign on to Facebook uh, if you're not already a member. And I, I, there's so many different things going on on the page, I guarantee that there's something on there that's going to pique your interest, okay. whether it be pictures. Um, and it just It's funny when new people come on, you know, they talk about, uh, oh, pictures of China World, this or that, and someone <laughs> pipes in, hey, we talked about that last month. So, but <laughs> or it's last always, year. Yeah, or last year. But it's five always, years ago. There, there's, uh, there's a means of going back, looking at past posts, mm -hmm. and, and things are always on there. So just, just to join and, and getting new members and having uh, Joe uh, create the, the events um, and just, just making the city better and giving it a bright spot. And you did say, Joe, that anybody who would like to uh, suggest a dine-out location can just get to you and just suggest that we'd like to go there? Yep, it's um, <clears throat> it's open to anyone, like mm -hmm. I said earlier. Um, it, we have any any, any amount of participants anywhere from 20 to as much as uh, 80 one time in one restaurant, which yeah. was a great boost in business. I look at it from a perspective to support local business. Sure. Um, and that's that's been my goal ever since, you know, doing that and a lot of people are um, have come together to do that. So anybody can join in, anybody can just show up to, to an event, and um, people can participate as much or as little as they want to. Very nice. And, and I'm sure that the local restaurants are delighted to have you there, pretty much, aren't they? Are wel welcoming you with open arms when most, you say... Most, most are. Most, yep. yeah. Most are. Curious, okay, I won't <laughs> ask. I'll, I'll email you later and find <laughs> out. <laughs> no, I won't do that, really. Um, Marianne, any last thoughts? Just come on down, see what it's all about. I, I just think the group is a bunch of great people, and I think you'll be welcomed with open arms, and you'll be happy to come in. And as we had a little discussion before, you can't be faint of heart either. You can't yeah. take everything personally. <laughs> not and as I said, same. not everyone is going to no. agree with you, so you have to be a little thick-skinned. Don't get your, your dander riled up when you read a comment by somebody who is completely philosophically different Sometimes than you. Sometimes you just have so to take it with a grain of salt. Just scroll with yep. the flow, or exactly. as somebody likes to say, just scroll down if you don't like what exactly. someone says. Exactly. Saying, just scroll down. Well, you can shoot Joe an email or myself. I'm sure he's gotten messages I have. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you look at it, and if it's, uh, if it's okay, then it stays. You know. Very good. I'd like to thank you all for being my thank guests you. today. Thank you. And I'm sure that I will be seeing you in the, the land of GUIFR and at some of the events coming up. So thank you all for being here. I appreciate the time no, that, thank you, you. that you spent with us and with our TV audience. So all of you out there, get your little shovels out and start digging the soil and start smelling those beautiful scents of spring. Look for the first robin, write it down somewhere so that every year you can see when the first robin arrived and look for the joy because it might as well be spring. Sorry, I had to get that in there. I just can't help myself. So next month, we've got an exciting event. We've got the G20 Chorus coming, the Barbershop Chorus. I'm quite a Barbershop fan, been all my whole life, so I'm really looking forward to that. We're gonna have a nice bunch here then. So until then, get out and about. This is Mary Ann Goulart. Cheers. <laughs>